Hello guys, I think I found easily the worst thing ever. Meltan got an evolution. Oh yeah, a Pokemon that doesn't deserve it. That is really the most disappointing Pokemon ever made. But before we start this, I'm gonna have another disappointment Pokemon. Let's go. They got rid of Pokemon Master. Seriously, why in the world did you freaking change Pokemon Master to Master Trainer? So now I basically be calling it Master Trainer. And of course I got over got over this in several videos like pay, me was parked behind a paywall. But Master Trainer Nintendo. Master Trainer. I really wanna be a Master Trainer. That sounds like freaking Digimon. Freaking Digimon. Let's go over Mal Metal. This is the two professor part like we Yay, Meltan. Such an interesting and unique Pokemon. Sarcasm. Cause Meltan is easily the most boring Pokemon. Look at it. It's the most generic Pokemon. People actually think this is cute. This thing gave me nightmares, okay? This thing freaking gave me nightmares and they're giving this thing an evolution. I'm surprised it's not a ghost type. So freaking creepy, but Brox is not a ghost type either. <laughs> they're not cute, they're freaking freaky, okay? Meltan's freaking freaky. There's basically a live reaction, this is my first reaction. Meltan is doing something Dragon Ball Z fusing, because uh, Dragon Ball, uh, they're not gonna become one being because reasons. They're becoming one being now, and now, um, what's going on? I actually not know. Yay, they changed such an interesting Pokemon, not. Oh my god, this freaking looks. This is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. It's freaking. That's just the ugliest design. I know, the worst designs I've ever seen. Did we seriously need Meltan and Melmetal? They're easily the worst Pokemon in history. Besides Jinx and Bruxis. They're easily my top, now my top 5 worst Pokemon. This game is just full of disappointments. It could have been like a, um, um, it doesn't even, like, it looks freaking freaky. It's the most ugliest design Pokemon I've ever seen. The way I was in way for Melmetal because it's Meltan. <laughs> because we really want these ugly things at Pokemon and and Mel Metal is easily one of the worst Pokemon ever made. <sighs> it's just this is Mel Metal. This is the new Pokemon people have been waiting for. It looks like freaking Mars and Boo, but without a head. <laughs> it looks like freaking Mars and Boo, but meow metal. It's that thing again. Might kill you by its ugliness, by its sliminess. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, thinking grime is cute. It's so freaking creepy. The secret behind Meltan is on root boxes. Yay! Root boxes! We really want root boxes in Pokemon. Yay, that's what we really want. That's the end. So that's the, yeah, that's the outro for Pokemon. Let's go Pikachu and Eevee. This game, there's really nothing else to talk about. They, I think it didn't go over the whole Master Trainer thing. Because I just rolled my eyes on that. And basically, like, why? Some people are actually claiming this game is actually freaking difficult. A game with very... Well, of course, it could be probably difficult. Because you can't battle wild Pokemon to train your Pokemon. No one wants to... Yeah, the game is going to be difficult. You know why? Because no one wants to constantly catch Pokemon and release them over again. Who wants to do that? No one. No one wants to do that. So those people who want to have a challenge like a Nuzlocke and want to have AXP sales, yeah, you're gonna have a hard and rough time there because Nuzlocke's a virtually impossible in Pokemon Let's Go. And the only way to level up your Pokemon is to catch more Pokemon with the awful Pokemon Go mechanics. So, and of course, if you get, get, me, if you get Mew, it get, if you pay $50, you get the game even easier. So Pokemon Let's Go is the very, very, very disappointing, one of the most disappointing games of the year, and it's not even out yet. It's probably going to be my number one most disappointing game of the year, because there was so much excitement behind Pokemon Switch. Everybody was excited about what it was. I was even excited about it, and I didn't like the Switch. 
here's the thing about the Switch. When and, and it's just when every time a new console comes out, I just don't like it. When the Wii U came out, I hated the Wii U. When the Xbox One came out, I hated the Xbox One. Same thing with the PS4. It's just when a new console comes out, I am just not used to it, and I want the old console to stay. So that's the probably the main reason why I hated the Switch. I did all those bad reviews on the Switch. But those things about the Switch not wanting certain games, that is kind of true right there. That is kind of true. Not why being able to run certain games because it's weak. That's true right there. It can't run Call of Duty. But it is due to third party ignorance since Call of Duty can run on the freaking Wii. While the Free Sex was out and they were pouring it for the, for the Wii. So it's, it's no, there should be no problem pouring Call of Duty on the freaking Switch if, if they put it on the freaking Wii. It just makes no sense. It's just Activision and Western developers just hate the Switch. I could go over that some other day. Why there's third party developers, and I basically apologize for the people who are saying, oh, it's because Nintendo sucks and that. No, there's actually a deeper reason why third party developers, particularly not Bethesda and, and just particularly Western developers, did, and especially EA. EA just hates everybody in general. EA is the worst company on the face of the earth. They hate everybody. And basically, um, Activision, they're not that better either. And Konami, they're, they're, like, they're basically EA, but they don't care about games. They hate games. Basically, Konami is like EA is probably going to become over in the future. Let's warn you. But Pokemon Let's Go, easily the most disappointing game of the year. If you thought some other games that released this year were disappointing, like Sea of Thieves, it's not going to be as disappointing as Pokemon Let's Go. There's so much hype around this game for no reason. It's going to flop. It's going gonna, it's gonna to sell well, really well first week. But the numbers always deceive you. And also, Black Ops 4 had a record opening in Japan, if you really want to know that or not. I'll go over that in the future, about why Black Ops 4 is selling in Japan, had the best opening in Japan, and why it's not selling that well in the UK.